As a website owner, are you tired of pop-ups that annoy visitors? Well, let's flip the script. Pop-up can be powerful when used right. And in this video, we are going to share 5 smart, visitor-friendly ways to use pop-ups that boost engagement and conversions. Plus, we are also going to show you how DB5 builds all these pop-ups natively, no plugins and no code required. So ready to turn pop-ups into your secret weapon? Then let's dive in. Now, if you want to deep dive and learn more about DB5 interactions and pop-ups, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out the link in our video description. I'm sure you will find the blog really helpful. Now, pop-ups are overlay window that appears over any page of your website while creating a focused with darkened or blurred background. This includes forms, message or CTAs and visitors must interact in form of click, filling a form or also have a close button to continue. And these pop-ups trigger based on actions like page load, scroll depth or clicks, making them perfectly timed when done right. So are pop-ups effective? Well, the answer is yes. Pop-ups cut through distraction and demand attention, essentially on mobile, where they dominate the screen. They work best when time with intent, offer value at the first moment and visitors will definitely respond. If you mistime them, then they're going to backfire. So what to avoid when making a pop-up? Well, here is what kills your pop-up success. Instant pop-up on arrival, long form asking too much, hidden close buttons, same pop-up for everyone, weak offer with generic newsletters, or maybe showing it repeatedly after dismissal. As a website owner, you need to respect your visitor's journey. So here are five creative ways to use pop-ups on your website. Number one, offer page specific resource. Now show a pop-up with resources tied directly to the page. For example, maybe an Instagram template that shows a growth guide and it should feel helpful, not salesy. Make sure you keep the form simple, an email field and just a button. The offer adds value and you gain a qualified lead. Number two, show social proof. Now build trust with small corner pop-up showing recent activity. Like someone just gave this 5 star or someone just purchased this product from your website. It signals popularity and legitimacy and gently nudging hesitant shoppers to buy more. You can use these on product pages for real-time credibility. Number 3. Promote a giveaway. Now everyone loves free. Announce a contest with a free image, clear entry rules and a single email field. Choose a price that attracts your ideal customer like a product from your store and it's a win-win excitement for them and lead for you. Number 4. Gate content. Now, you can go ahead and protect some premium content on your website like an ebook or course behind an email gate. When someone clicks to access, a pop-up blocks the page and offers the download from their email. Use strong headlines and benefits. Make sure you signal its exclusiveness upfront to manage exceptions. Number 5. Waitlist Sign Up Now you can turn your coming soon pages into opportunity. On product pages or landing pages, trigger a pop-up inviting visitors to join a waitlist. With a simple message, get notified when the product launches. And in the pop-up, just add one email field. It keeps them engaged and signals demand. Now here is the game changer. DB5 builds all these pop-ups natively. And here's how you do it. All right, so here we are inside our DB5 Visual Builder and we have already created a sample layout page using the DB5 pre-made layouts. And we are going to create a pop-up which will load after five seconds once our page loads in the front end. So let's get started. So first we are going to add a section here and we are going to use a layout of grid columns like this one. So let's click on this and let's start by adding some text here. So we will give it a heading and after this let's go ahead and add some text like this. So I'm just going to keep it a dummy text here and the main feature of this pop-up will be our email capture form. So we are going to add email opt-in module. So let's click on this and we are going to customize this for this pop-up. So we'll do that in a minute. 
but we move on to the right hand side to add an image here and we choose an image from our library maybe let's say this one so i'll just upload it for this example so let's upload this and now let's go ahead and do some customization to match the styling of this pop-up so first we click on this email opt-in form and we can get rid of the text and we can also get rid of the title and if we go to the field section we can also get rid of the last name so we will only keep the first name and the email you can configure the form depending upon what email capture service you are using and for the background we will clear it up we will choose something that goes with the theme so maybe something like this one and we go to design and let's customize our button something like this and now let's go ahead and style this entire pop-up box so we click on this row we go to design and for the sizing we are going to keep it as 80 percent so that it won't open up on the full screen and we will align the content in center and for the border we are going to keep a border radius of maybe 20 pixel and for the spacing we will add 25 pixel from top and bottom and 25 pixel for left and right so that everything fits in the pop-up and after this we are going to add a box shadow as well something like this so now we have a good looking pop-up here but the only thing that is missing here is the close button so we go ahead and add a button after this so let's say after this image we are going to add an icon and let's change it to something like this and let's go to the design and change the icon size so we will reduce the size a little bit like this and then we go to advance and for the position we change this to absolute and then offset it to the right so this one looks better now and for this image let's go to design and align this in middle now this one looks much better now if you open this page in the front end this is how it looks now it's nowhere it looks like a pop-up it looks like part of the layout but we need to hide it from the normal view and open it as a pop-up after five seconds of page load so let's go back in our visual builder and see how it is done so we come back here and first thing we need to do is click on this section and we need to rename this so we go to section and double click and I'm going to rename it as email something like that and now in order to make it as a pop-up we need to go to advance then click on interactions and add a new interaction and we are going to choose load from all these options and let's give it a name for admin label and then we have selected event already and the action we want is to show element and the target module will be this section so let's search it so we select this list and now here we can see all the modules of our page and from here we need to select this section that is email opt-in pop-up so now you know why we have renamed it so that we can easily find it in all this long list and for the time delay we are going to add five and instead of millisecond we are going to set seconds for this and we are done let's click on save so now we have created this section as a pop-up now we need a mechanism how we are going to close this pop-up so for that we are going to use our icon here so let's click on this and we go to advance and we are going to add an interaction on this icon as well so let's add an interaction and we want this interaction to happen on the click event 
let's give it a name and the action we want from this is to hide element because it's going to hide our entire section and then the target module will be same our email opt-in section so let's select that and time delay will be zero because we want the box or the section to get closed instantly let's save it now all right now the final step right now it's showing as part of our layout which we don't want we want to open this as a pop-up in the middle of the page and it should not be visible initially once the page load so for that we need to again select this section and we need to make sure that we turn off the display but before that let's go ahead and set the position so we go to position and we make it as fixed and we will keep it as offset in the middle now we go to visibility and turn off this from all the devices so now on the page you can see it's in the fixed position but it's kind of a blurred which is hidden actually and if we click on save and then open this in the front end we should get our pop-up let's refresh the front end so now we see the pop-up is not here on our page let's wait for five seconds and boom we have our pop-up here but it looks broken why let's check it out so we come back here in our back end and if we click on this section and then go to advance in the position we have not set the z index so let's make it as high as possible so that it will always be on the very top and now if we refresh the page once again here is our pop-up we have all the things that we have designed and if we click on this cross icon it closes the pop-up as intended your pop-up on your website will definitely win when they respect timing and intent these five strategies resources and social proof giveaways gate content and waitlist deliver value and result with dv5 interactions you can build them fast natively and beautifully pick one tactic set it up today and watch engagement soar so ready to build smarter pop-ups then try dv5 today and if you like this video then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community and for more videos like this make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video